Welcome to the Multimedia CD Somatic PCS7 Getting Started First Steps. We'd like to thank you for your interest in Somatic PCS7. With the help of some video sequences, we would like to show you the basic procedure for creating a simple PCS7 example project. This Getting Started CD serves as an introduction and is only intended as basic information. If this Getting Started CD has stimulated your interest, we recommend the more detailed Getting Started PCS7 Part 1 for Beginners. The objective of this video is to provide a multimedia-supported, efficient and successful introduction to Somatic PCS7 with the help of an example project. This project will be completely configured in seven steps. You will learn the elementary configuration steps and the coordinated interaction of the software components in an easy way and quickly understand the intuitive way that Somatic PCS7 works. In the eighth and last step, the process control phase will be presented. This video is designed to follow the manual Getting Started PCS7 first steps, but also demonstrates some additional work steps beyond what is included in the document. In this sequence, we are going to show you how to configure your computer before you actually start configuring the Somatic PCS7 application. This step has to be carried out once at the beginning of the configuration phase. It is basically required to define the communication links between the automation components and to create the project itself. In the first step, the computer will be configured for communication. Let's assume that the Somatic Net hardware has been configured with the help of the Somatic Net Commissioning Wizard. An Ethernet adapter that is integrated in the computer mainboard is used for communication with the automation system. Now start the Station Configuration Editor. In the Station Configuration Editor, the required applications and hardware components are inserted in the table and parameterized if required. A WinCC application is inserted. The objects can be entered at any position or index in the table. However, the indexes selected here should match the configuration of the computer, which will be carried out in the Somatic Manager. The Ethernet adapter has already been configured with the help of the commissioning wizard in Index 5. The computer configuration is now completed. The PCS7 New Project Wizard allows you to create a new PCS7 multi-project with just a few clicks of the mouse. The wizard is now opened. The project is defined and created in only four steps. Multi-project with project and master data library has been pre-selected. In the second step, the automation system hardware is selected. A CPU 416-2 is used here. In the third step, the number of levels in the plant hierarchy is first selected. The plant hierarchy is a representation of your plant structure within the engineering system. You can select up to five levels, depending on the structure and complexity of your plant. In our example, we are using three levels. Because the application will include both CFCs, which are used for process control, and SFCs, which are used for sequential control, both options are activated. A standalone operator station architecture is selected. In the fourth and last step, the name and location of the project are defined. The project name is Fast E. The suggested location will be used. The rest of the work is done in two views, component view and plant view. The process object view is started if it is required. The views are arranged one on top of the other. With the help of the wizard, the multi-project Fast E MP has been created with a Somatic S7400 station, a Somatic PC station, and a master data library Fast E Lib. The new multi-project is shown in the two selected views in the Somatic Manager.